James Dio, Geese of Butler, and that little fat bloke, the American one, forget what his fucking name is. Bloodstock 2010. Don't go to download. Don't go to Sonosphere. Go to Bloodstock. That was 18 months of the making, I reckon. That was a killer gig, that was. And we're dining out on it today, tomorrow, and possibly for the next 20, 30 years. <laughs> well, as I was going around, I was talking to everybody, especially people who were at Marble. You're talking during the Yeah. Set. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> well, there were people from Hard Rock Hell, right? I was watching. <laughs> Motherfuckers, make some noise! You lazy motherfuckers, make some noise! Hey, hey, Is it always going to be the case? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's just the fact that songs like The Brave Shall Fall with relation to the war at the minute, The Awakening with relation to the shitty fiscal system that we're in and the, the banking system and the, the political fucking upheaval that we're facing at the moment, that 
in line with the whole Sophie thing would never take us down at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a, a retrospective look at the fact that the world is not a very fucking pretty place at the minute, is it? I mean, let's let's not bullshit, you know, let's not paint it colours. At the end of the day, it's not a happy time. So you know, don't get me wrong, the show's always going to be done with a smile on its face because it wouldn't be beholder if it wasn't. But yeah, there's some issues that you know we're kind of venting at the moment. Don't get me wrong. If by the time we bring the second out and out there's world peace and everyone's going around butt fucking each other, then great, you know, cool. But, but I can't see this is going to happen anytime soon. Can go your material if it is. <laughs> I can really change the lyrics, it's not a problem. This song, this next song is dedicated to, uh, to two people. First and foremost, it was written due to the apparent fucking murder of a young girl by the name of Sophie Lancaster, right? We'll never fucking forget her. We took our fucking classes. God bless you, Sophie. But this is also for a young lad. I forget what his surname is now, but he's a good friend with Clark. you. Cloak. Stephen Cloak. Blake. Cloak. Cloak. Yeah, it's a bad Okay. <laughs> his name's Stephen Cloak, and he's a good friend of the uh, the Echo Virus guys. And uh, he was set upon the other week and kicked into a fucking coma for no apparent fucking reason. We are sick to the fucking back teeth of this mindless fucking chav mentality. It's gotta fucking stop right now. This is for Stephen, this is for Sophie, and this is for every single fucking one of you. Because they'll never take us down! 